Hello, I am Dr. J and you are watching my YouTube channel. In this video, we will write a model assay number 4 about uh, IRS and TOEFL assay. Assay type is discuss both sides assay and give your opinion. As you know, this is assay writing course in particular for IRS and TOEFL students and in general for any kind of English assay. And this is part 1. Please look at the description box for updates and links to my Facebook groups. Like and comment to encourage me. Share with other students to help them. And press bell icon. This one. Press bell icon and subscribe to my channel to get more free courses on vocabulary, grammar, writing, speaking, listening and reading also. My vocabulary and grammar course is already there on my YouTube channel. So have a look at my channel. Play, go to the playlist of my channel and have a look at these courses. So this is an overview of my essay writing course. I have started from uh, assessment criteria. As you know, there are four assessment criteria. What the examiner would like to see in your essay, especially in IELTS essay. Then I would go for uh, time management, how to plan, generate ideas, paraphrasing, how to write introductions, conclusions, topic sentences, types of essays thesis statement and many more videos and first of all we are going to discuss uh, discuss both sides and give your opinion essay then i will go for each type of essay there are more than eight types of essay in my course and uh, i will write more than 15 model essays and i will explain you step by step everything open playlist of my channel and watch complete course in order Link is given below in the description box. I would write a complete model essay and explain you everything step by step. I would intentionally make some mistakes in the essay to test your knowledge. At the end, I would correct my mistakes and I would explain you in detail how to uh, correct these mistakes. This is uh, our uh, uh, task. This is our question for today. Completing university education is thought by some to be the best way to get a job. Completing university education is thought by some to, to be the best way to get a job. On the other hand, other people think that getting uh, experience and developing soft skills is more important. Discuss both sides and give your opinion. This is the same for every essay, so you don't uh, waste your time in reading this. This is same, you have to give uh, reasons and include relevant examples from your own knowledge and experience. This is your main task. So, your time has started in the real exam. First of all, after reading the question, you have to underline the key points. What, first of all, think uh, what type of essay it is, uh, discuss both sides and give your opinion. Now, underline the key points completing tertiary university education or tertiary education this is synonym uh, is tertiary education so underline this one completing university is thought by some to be the best way best way to get a job on the other hand other people think that getting experience and developing soft skills is more important other people think that getting experience and and soft skills is more important so we have to decide that after completing university education to get a job what is better uh, to get a job is it better to complete university education or or on the other hand you have to leave your school and go for experience and and developing soft skills and that would uh, that is more important for to get a job or university education is more important to get a job so we have underlined the question we know this is type of uh, essay discuss both sides and give your opinion essay and uh, our general topic is uh, work or employment And a specific topic is 
our specific topic is the relationship between job and education or experience this is our specific topic this is our general topic do you don't in your real exam this is just this one is just for uh, to to teach you in real exam you don't need to write this general topic specific just imagine in your mind in your mind what is the general topic what is specific don't write on the on the exam on the exam question where you are going to plan so next step you have to write on your uh, on your question you can write plan on your question paper in your real exam don't plan on your answer sheet you can plan on the question paper let me see so we have two opinions opinion one is to get a job opinion one and to get a job we need tertiary education or higher education higher education is better and uh, how how higher education can uh, we can get better chances with higher education for get uh, better chances for job with the higher education let us uh, brainstorm let us plan our essay by brainstorming brainstorming is i am just thinking in my mind what comes in my mind about uh, the topic i am writing what comes in higher education if you get high job and uh, higher education is important why it is important to get higher education to get more jobs more get better job opportunities because uh, for example i am a doctor to become a doctor or a lawyer or some other any other profession you can say you need uh, a degree a degree is a must without degree you cannot become a doctor you cannot got to get a job as a doctor or lawyer so you must complete a uh, education then you can complete with a, with a, uh, only with experience you cannot got get this these kind of jobs you can ex you can think any of other jobs that you cannot get without uh, education and uh, number 2 is when there is a job there is a vacancy and uh, when there is a vacancy and uh, there are many applicants applicants uh, it means uh, uh, competition competition in job market so highly educated educated students would be do you not need to write complete sentences where are you uh, highly educated students are preferred would be preferred so this is my uh, uh, opinion one opinion one this is my brainstorming for opinion one let us go for opinion two. Opinion two is opinion two is you don't uh, go to the university after completing your school. You don't go to university. You start uh, getting experience in a job, or you go for a work to go a workshop, a volunteer work, or something like that, and you get experience. And uh, the question is whether you when you get experience and uh, soft skills. Uh, whether uh, you get more chances so opinion 2 is experience experience and soft skills when you are in real exam you don't need to read, write this one because you are writing you are planning on the same page where is the question the, que uh, the question is on first uh, two or three lines and then the whole page is blank so this like that for example this is question and you have blank page 
you can uh, plan on this one you just need to uh, write uh, draw a line between the in the center of the page write one opinion at the one side and other opinion at the other side like this one let us insert a table insert a table with the number of columns two and uh, rows can be three or four for example here is uh, opinion one in real exam you can so the draw line don't make to need to make these lines draw opinion one don't need to even write opinion one just draw a line and this is opinion two brainstorm about uh, opinion one here those ideas here and about opinion two here with details some details also to help you this is how can you do in the real exam but we here we are going to no i don't know how to delete this in. yes so in opinion two we need experience and soft skills for example after you uh, you leave school and when students uh, directly go to a job get a job they work for a long time and they get experience and uh, they have more chances to get a job because of their experience so so apprenticeships do you know what is apprenticeships apprenticeships is when you when you study a bit but uh, you have also uh, uh, when uh, when there is a uh, experience the uh, practical all practical is, uh, is associated with uh, uh, study there is more practical than the study so this is called apprenticeships and uh, voluntary works voluntary works so i will give examples of the voluntary works people go for voluntary works apprenticeship they learn and they uh, they do same thing same thing again and again they do same thing and again and again but uh, those students they they don't have theoretical knowledge practical knowledge but their experience is more than let us make it small it's too large one moment please yes it is sufficient so opinion one and opinion two is a uh, sort of experience and skills and they have uh, more experience they uh, have the down of theoretical knowledge but their experience is high experience okay there is experience uh, let us uh, uh, give any example example uh, let us say here example for example uh, people who are for example the civil engineers we doctors have experience we doctors have to work with patients so we don't uh, we uh, we have higher education but we have practical also but for example civil engineers uh, they they study very hard but they don't go in the field to make maps and uh, about roads these kind of things at the end they have less chances to get job this is just an example and here example can be just give an example uh, uh, if there is a vacancy and a vacancy and many candidates candidates for one for one seat or one vacancy okay now after writing uh, opinion one uh, ideas for opinion one and opinion two you uh, remember in your real exam you have to just do it quickly first read the question underline the key points 
think about some synonyms and uh, and then brainstorm um, uh, put a line in the center of the page and put opinion one here and opinion two here and brainstorm and then decide what your opinion can be where you can uh, write more and where uh, where you can their ideas are relevant so after brainstorming you have to decide what ideas are relevant to the point what you can expand expand number one relevant ideas to the topic number two that are easy to expand you can give reasons examples and are easy to to expand to easy to these are three things three or four things that you should keep in mind when deciding your final ideas after that you need to decide what your opinion would be either you, either you agree with the first opinion or agree with the second opinion or you disagree or partly agree so to to be on the safe side i mostly i would advise you to agree with one of the two opinions so it will be easy for you to write the uh, answer so in this case uh, in my opinion second one is a bit more there is a, uh, there is more uh, vocabulary and uh, i can write a bit more I have theoretical knowledge and vacancy, many candidates, apprenticeships, out skills. So I would go for the opinion two. This would be my, my opinion. I would agree with opinion number two. So after that, after deciding what your opinion is, you would go for introduction. introduction introduction we have to write three things number one is background statement number two is background statement number two is a uh, paraphrasing paraphrasing uh, give both sides give both sides discuss or discuss both sides and then give your opinion also you can say present both sides present both sides and both opinions both sides and give your opinion also these are three things that you have to do in an introduction note them down if you don't know already note them down and uh, let us write the introduction so let us not uh, remove this so introduction first of background statement as you we know our general topic is work or employment a specific topic is relationship between job and education and our experience or uh, soft skills so i would write something uh, uh, in general about employment or something like that about jobs let us uh, let us think how can we write you don't need to make any fancy and very strong and very large sentence background statement just a, a simple sentence is sufficient let us see most people you can say also nowadays most people uh, think about job dream dream of being able to land being able to land their dream job most people dream of instead of there is being you dream two times let us change most people uh, dream of being able to land their job dream job think of just think of 
you can write any other word also then we have we're going to use a, a while while plus opposite opinion opposite side or opinion side or opinion opinion comma and my side are our opinion this is how you would you would write the second sentence of your introduction so in this case for example i would say while we can also use however here however while you can use this way or you can only say while while some argue that gaining in the question it was getting uh, let us look getting getting experience uh, this is a positive opinion getting experience i have changed into gaining experience just to vary your language that some uh, argue that gaining experience experience and when the question is soft skills and i am going to i am not going to use any synonym so i can only use skills uh, gaining experience and skills are the best are the best way to do to get a job so get a job no four star because we are to get a job while some are good at gaining experience and skills are the best way to get a job so as we are talking about the job same job here so i we can use referencing here uh, best way to do this to do this what to uh, to gain a dream job best way to do this i i agree with those or you can say i side with those i side with those who believe that who believe that tertiary education so believe i have chain uh, who think that here is third instead of third i have chain believe the best way to get a job uh, university education i have changed into tertiary education university education i have changed to uh, tertiary education best way i have changed it to better i said with those who believe that tertiary education is better now my introduction is complete most people think of being able to land their dream jobs let us to do the dream job is also correct or jobs you can read right plural or singular while some argue that gaining experience gaining experience i am using gerund here it is very good to use gerund it is advanced level grammar gaining experience and skills are the best way to do this i side with those who believe that tertiary education is better now my introduction is complete i will delete this
this is how to write introduction note them note them down if you don't know already i will delete this also now we are going to write opposite opinion opposite opinion. just uh, i would like to you don't need to write this one how to uh, you will organize your essay this is just plan your in your mind first of all you need to write introduction then go for body para body one body paragraph one paragraph one that is opposite opinion in this kind of essay is opposite opinion opposite opinion the body paragraph then i would write body paragraph sorry body paragraph 2 that is my opinion then i would write conclusion so in this case my opinion is let us opinion one is opposite opinion opinion two is my opinion so here i would write opposite opinion that is number one opinion number one and my opinion that is opinion number two I would write first of all introduction that is already written and then I would start from body paragraph 1 that is opposite opinion and then I would go for body paragraph 2 that is my opinion then I would write conclusion let us uh, note them down if you don't know already let us delete so I am going to write two opposite opinions in two bad paragraphs I can start with a transition signal on 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 the one hand never forget this on the one hand on the on the other hand never forget this the on the one hand then i have to write a topic sentence this is my opposite opinion higher education doctor lawyers can get a degree the degree is must without a degree they cannot work when there is a vacancy and um, there is a competition so higher edu highly educated students will get preference let us see the battery is low let us i think we should stop 